Okay guys, today for our technology class we're going to be talking again about algorithms. That was the way that we can tell computers how to think and how we can tell people how to do something. So today we're going to be showing algorithms by drawing. That's where we draw each step of a process or an algorithm. So tell what we have to do step by step. Okay, in this one, we're washing the dishes. Like we said before, we get the dishes, we put the old food in the bin, we wash it under the tap with soap, then we rinse them, that's get all the soap off them with some more water, and then we put them to dry. We can use this sort of algorithm for lots of things, like instructions for how to build things. Your mum and dad have probably had to do this one or two times. Uh, hang on, look, this lady got in the cupboard <laughs> and they nailed it up. Oh no, <laughs> that wasn't a very good algorithm. We can do it for making things where we need to do each thing one after the other to do it just right. We can use it for art too, where we can learn to do new things. So to draw our face, first we draw an oval, then we draw a cross going through the middle and the middle. Then we put our eyes on one line, put our nose halfway down, our nose halfway between our nose, our mouth halfway between the nose and the chin, our eyebrows, our ears, our hair, and this gives us a way to do it step by step, so that if we couldn't do it before, if we follow the steps, then we can. We can do it for new skills, like tying a knot with rope. This shows us exactly where the rope needs to go. We can also use it for toys. It can tell us how to put toys together. Today, we're going to try and help Jing use algorithms to, uh, to tell her story. So, let's read the story together. A cat sneaks into Jing's house and plays with the bottle, uh, milk bottle until it falls down and breaks. When Jing hears the noise, she walks in and chases the cat away. Then she cleans up all the mess. So, first we need to find what the first picture is. So, a cat sneaks into Jing's house. Sneaks, that means to come in very quietly, okay? Which one has the cat coming in or looking in very quietly? Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Why is it not this one? Can you see? It's not this one because the milk bottle has already been broken and the milk bottle doesn't get broken until later in the story. So, it's not this one. Can you see which picture is the cat looking in? It's this one, you're right. So let's write number one here, number one. Okay, what's the second picture? It plays with the milk bottle until it falls down and breaks. Okay, well, where is the cat playing with the milk bottle? Oh, 
down here. So this is number two. You write a number two in the box. What happens next? It falls down and breaks. Okay, can you do the rest? Can you see where it falls down and breaks? After that, Jing hears a noise. She walks in and chases the cat away. Then she cleans up all the mess. What do you think is picture number three? Okay. When you've done this one on page 54, go... Okay, on the next one, there is an activity at school today. Jing has to show how to brush her teeth to her classmates. This is how she shows the steps. So, which one of these is step one? Is it brushing your teeth, putting on toothpaste, showing you're finished, or spitting out the toothpaste? So you need to put one, two, three, or four to show the steps, and then you need to color all of them in. Okay? All right, guys, that's us for today. I hope you enjoyed using pictures to show an algorithm. I'll see you again on Friday.